So I got a call from my good friend, York Newman, the head of Microsoft Flight Simulator. He told me it was imperative that I meet with him. So I'm in this helicopter, we're flying to this location, we're on our way, let's go. York! Hey, Paris, good to see you. Good to see you. Thanks for coming to DC, man. No, thank you. What am I doing here? Later. Let's get in. We don't have much time. Oh, okay. All right, Paris, right across the Potomac. That's where our contact is. Are we headed towards Arlington? It's still secret. I'm sorry. York, what is this place? Oh, you'll see. Let's go. Look at this place. <laughs> Nick, how's it going? Hello. Paris, I would like to introduce Nick Partridge from the Smithsonian nice National Air and Space Museum. Thank you for having me. But this makes a lot of sense. I saw during the trailer there was a collaboration between the Smithsonian National Air and Space Museum and Flight Simulator. Here we are at the National Air and Space Museum. So let's talk about that collaboration. Tell me more about that. Well, Jorg and I have been talking for more than a year. He was looking for me, and it turns out I was looking for him to ask the same question, which was, don't you think that our, our organizations have a lot in common, dedicated to bringing flight to everyone? And uh, I was looking for the spirit of St. Louis, which is in the Smithsonian ever since 1928. And the Smithsonian was gracious enough they gave us a millimeter perfect scan, which is what we'll feature in the 40th anniversary edition. But as Nick and I kept talking, it was very clear, you know, the world's foremost museum for air and space, the Smithsonian. Yeah. And Microsoft celebrating its 40th anniversary. It's a match made in heaven. Mm -hmm. And there's lots of things we can do. Yeah, authenticity, accuracy, access, it's all there. We're hoping that if everyone has as much fun in the community with the content that we initially collaborated on, a couple of our most historic aircraft, and some of the other aircraft in this center are already in the simulator, maybe we can jump in with both feet and do more in the years to come. Maybe even, who knows, we'll go crazy. We'll put the space shuttle in there. Oh, that sounds amazing. <laughs> All right, you guys have never been here before, no, right? No, this nope. is my first All time. All right, so uh, keep your eyes peeled, stick, stick together, and uh, Jorg, I've got something special for you right around here. Perfect. Check this out. This is my favorite plane, the Junker Su-52 three motor. Amazing. And that, that is an awesome plane, and as I look at all these planes around here, it makes me ask the question, are you gonna put all of them in flight, Tim? Uh, maybe not all of them, but we hope a lot of them. In the 40th anniversary that comes out this fall, we already have three. We have the Wright Flyer, the Spirit of St. Louis, and the DC-3. And we hope to get a few more. As Nick and I were talking, there's a lot of things we could do. Yeah, we started with the most iconic ones, and uh, who knows? There's no lack of opportunity. You know, I keep saying amazing because this place is amazing. And just like Flight Sim, it just keeps going. So what else is happening? It does seem like we're going supersonic, like the Concorde here. We've been doing a major update ever since we launched, every month since uh, August 2020. And just today, we're actually launching World Update 10. And guess what? Tell me. It's the United States. And it's huge. We have a dozen cities, a new height field, brand new aerials, new missions, new airports, new everything. And as always, it's free. And check out this beauty. This is the Beechcraft Model 18. They call it the Twin Beach. It's a famous plane, and that's also launching today. And it's a great coincidence. It's actually a huge coincidence. Jorg's been working on that Beechcraft since before we met, but it's a great example of how much we already had in common. So Jorg, what can we expect the rest of the year from Flight Sim? We have a ton of great things coming up. So today is World Update 10. We have two more World Updates, one in August and one in October. And then in November, we have the big 40th anniversary edition, which will be an absolute delight for anyone who loves aviation. Okay, that 40th anniversary edition, tell me more about that. Yeah, so we're celebrating by bringing back some of the, the planes from the old sims, like from Flight Sim 10, 9, 8, even before that. And we're restoring some of the old missions and we're bringing back some of the airports that were in those editions. So it's a real celebration of the franchise. So this celebration is not only of the franchise, but the past as well. And we're also adding brand new things on top of it, like that the community really wanted. For example, helicopters. My Sober wrote a brand new fluid dynamic system to make all that work. And we're adding gliders, which is a completely different way to experience the planet. It's just you and the wind. Right. 
And then the last one is we're bringing, it's the biggest deal for Simmers, a brand new real to life airliner, the A310 oh, wow. from Airbus, yeah. by a brand new partner called Inibuilds, a great development team. In fact, of the 10 planes we're bringing, most of them are created in collaboration with third parties. So it's a really cool way for us to integrate with the creator community. Now, how do I get this? If you're on Game Pass, if you already own Flight Sim, the 40th anniversary edition is a free upgrade. This has just been an incredible experience seeing all these planes and going through the history and everything that's coming to Flight Simulator. I mean, thank you so much. Thanks for coming to DC. Paris, thank you, Nick, for the great collaboration with the Smithsonian and for kicking off the 40th anniversary edition of Flight Sim. It's been wonderful. Thank you so much. Yeah, thank you. Today was a good day, but now I have a need for speed. I'm headed to the danger zone, baby.